Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be part two of my Wednesday morning beach walk in North Naples, Florida. We're down at the very south end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Looking up its beautiful mile long stretch of beach. The park is closed until further notice. They've got a bit of cleanup to do there. Thanks to Hurricane Helene. She pushed up a lot of sand onto the main road and into all the parking lots. So they're working on getting everything uncovered now. You can see some of the sand piles over there. Don't know how long that's going to take. I do suggest you follow Friends of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park on Facebook. If you'd like to stay up to date with what's happening here, friends of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. You can hear some terns chirping away. Flying back and forth over the water out there. Water's looking a little funky. My suggestion is stay out of the water for a while. Who knows what was in all that storm runoff. Hit that share button if you're liking what you Partly cloudy skies, that sun's been in and out from behind the clouds this morning. Very quiet. With the park being closed, you can still walk the beach here. You're still allowed to walk out here. You just cannot go up into the park. So keep that in mind. You can walk up to Wiggins Pass if you'd like. Definitely noticing a funky smell out here. I don't know if it's the gulf water or the brackish water behind the park. Definitely has a little aroma. After this live feed after this live feed ends, you can go back and check out the first part of this morning's beach walk. We walked up Vanderbilt Beach, started down by La Playa, and walked up here to the park. 
in my very first live feed this morning. We just hung out down by La Playa and enjoyed some of the early morning colors of daybreak. Great way to start the day. A little beach time. All the broken shells crunching under my feet. Right now, parking lot number one is over to my right. I think they've got the sand scraped up. Now all they got to do is haul it away from parking lot one. I don't know if they're going to open the park when they have one parking lot done or if they're going to wait till they get all four parking lots finished. Don't know what their plans are. I think it's time they start just considering making them sand parking lots. <laughs> what a shame. All those shells. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I just wanted to give you a little peek into the park here, take you in here. I don't want people forgetting about the park. Just because it's closed doesn't mean it's not here. And doesn't mean it couldn't use your help. If you'd like to make a financial contribution to Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, please do that. They would appreciate it. Do it through the Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. You don't do it through Florida State Parks. Do it through Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Let them know. Just message them on Facebook. Let them know you want to make a donation, and they'll tell you what to do. Check out their website. I'm sure you can do it online. The park could use all the help it can get right now. Become a friend. Join the organization. Great group of people. It's like a ghost town. Two up where that opening is in the trees. Looks just like parking lot one, full of sand. Now it's full of sand piles. It appears that they're just making their way north, digging their way out as they get further and further up the beach. What looks like a big white sandy beach where that sand pile is that's in the sun, all that. That's parking lot and road. 
Now it's got, I believe, just a thin layer of sand on it. I think. This is what parking lot three and parking lot four look like. Parking lot five has never recovered from Hurricane Ian. The whole north end of the park is still a mess. Sad, isn't it? Here's where the first access path was from parking lot two right here. You can still see the posts and rope. Most of them. Well, some of them. You get the idea. Just don't forget the park is still here and could use your help. machine over there somewhere. I don't see it, but I hear it. Scooping up sand. I don't know if they're going to sift it like they did after Ian. A lot of places are just dumping it on the beach. Some people are dumping some really nasty looking sand on the beach. Not good. Some of the condos down on Vanderbilt Beach. Start making my way back down to the south. If you appreciate my efforts, especially over the past week here with Hurricane Helene, like I said, I'm doing my best to keep you updated on what's going on. I'm really not the news, and that's not the main focus of my morning beach walks, but when we go through times like these, I know what it's like to be left in the dark. So this is my neck of the woods. I figure I might as well share it with you, but if you appreciate my efforts, Please, please, please consider sending some stars on Facebook or even better, every once in a while, a tip. I'm not looking to get rich, but man, times are brutal, and I do depend on your support to make ends meet each month. I, I couldn't be out here without your help. Right now, those bills are piling up. It is bill time this week. In this link in the description of this post, you'll find a link to my PayPal account. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. There's no fees with that. There is fees. Facebook charges fees for those stars. They charge you a fee. They charge me a fee. So if you want to bypass the fees, use that link to my PayPal or look for me on Venmo, Apple Pay. If you do Zelle, message me on Facebook. Message me, Rob Stan, not Southwest Florida Television and I'll give you the Zelle phone number. But right now, every dollar counts, my friends. Praying that things get better somehow. Here at Wiggins, there's some nice hard sand up here to walk on. Down Vanderbilt Beach, you're better off staying closer to the water right now. Especially if it's low tide. We 
saw some incredibly gorgeous colors yesterday morning up at the north end of the park here at Wiggins Pass. If you missed yesterday's dose of Delnor Wiggins video, scroll down, look for that on YouTube, Facebook, whichever. YouTube's better. You'll see some of those early morning colors in that video. It was so cool. I mean, everything is, the clouds turned pink and they just lit the beach up. The beach was pink, the water was pink. I mean, I, anything around. I was pink. It was wild. Pretty cool. That doesn't happen all the time, but it happens. Yeah, more often than not, I guess, in the mornings. Between orange and pink, everything just glows. It's some, Sometimes it only lasts for a couple of minutes, sometimes maybe five minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. It's usually just a quick blast. Of course, if you watch that video, give it a share. Let your friends see it. Let your friends see some of our beautiful Southwest Florida skyscapes. Speaking of skyscape, sunset. Hmm. Boatnaples.com. If you'd like to get out on the water, early morning is always the best time to take a tour. That's where you stand the best chance of seeing dolphins. I don't know how active they are now since the hurricane. But mornings are best for that. But right now, Boat Naples, if you're planning on coming down here, this winter for just a little vacation or maybe you winter down here in North Naples. Anywhere you are, it's worth the drive to get to Boat Naples. They got a 25% savings going on right now. It's called Pay Now. Prepay Now Tour Later. Make your purchase now. Purchase your tour. You get 25% off. You don't have to take your tour. You have a year from the date of purchase to take the tour. So. There you go. If you're coming down, you don't even you don't have to book it. Just pay for it. You can book it later. Don't worry about the booking date. But save 25% and help Bo Naples out during the slow times. That'd be awesome. We all need help in the slow times here. These storms haven't been helping. I don't know what's down there lurking about. There was something trying to develop. They're saying it could head towards us. Ugh. Nothing to be freaking out over or panicking over. Kind of in the same spot where Helene was born. Look familiar? <laughs> Those of you that have been here. Parking lot one. There's the first access path We're right there where you see the posts all in there. Remember that beautiful bathhouse that was there and boardwalk before Ian just demolished this place? <laughs> that nice ramp at the end of the boardwalk you'd walk down. All the sea oats, the dunes, all right all in here. Remember all the sea oats? Lots and lots of sea oats in here. Man, I used to love watching the dragonflies. They'd be eating the mosquitoes in the morning. They'd be landing on those blooms on the sea oats. Beautiful. I haven't seen any dragonflies. I haven't seen many sea oats coming back yet. Clam Pass, a lot of sea oats at Clam Pass, all the way down the end of Pelican Bay Beach. A lot of sea oats down here. That's a beautiful sight. Instead of sea oats here at Wiggins, we got sand piles. Boy. 
Remember climbing up on sand piles when you were a kid at construction sites, playing King of the Hill? <laughs> you guys. That was so much fun. Being a kid in the old days is nothing like being a kid in these times. Wow. Still love this place. Like I say, come hell or high water, I love my Del Norwegians. was loaded where all this sand is here this was loaded with railroad vine and it was gorgeous all those little pinkish purple flowers the beach morning glory I didn't catch the first part of this morning's beach walk. I did see a lot of new sand piles on Vanderbilt Beach. People just maybe getting down here now to their homes and getting them cleaned up. Same with the condos. So a lot of the sand piles are gone. And then I saw new ones at other places. Some places are just about back to where they were before Halloween. Others on their way. Some haven't begun to clean up yet. Speaking of Halloween, please don't forget about the people whose lives have been just destroyed. Oh, that nasty storm, people without homes, food, clothes, water, communication, loss of life. Oh, pray for those families. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. All the first responders, volunteers, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Absolutely terrible. I think it was a bit of a surprise. Still haven't got the drop-off area at Vanderbilt Beach Park open. I don't know why it's taking them so long to get the sand out of there. I mean, compared to the, some of the other places, it wasn't that big of a deal. 
guess it's you know a government thing. That's how those governments work. It takes them longer to get things done. I gotta go get another drink of water here. I'm getting tired. Yeah, we're in the shadow of Mariah Bay. Up here to the drinking fountain. This is just a quick reminder of what happened here. That's the top of that's the handrails up on, from the that's the top of the handrails on the boardwalk here at the Bluebell Beach access and that Wiggins sign that was up in the air now it's on the ground but yeah those handrails don't slope down to ground level that was a ramp going down to the beach. is the Bluebell Beach Access, if you're not familiar with the area. A lot of you have been here, walking out to the beach. If you need to, if you go to Wiggins and you need a shower, this is where there's a shower. Restrooms and a shower. You'll, I think this drop-off is still closed here. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's open. The drop-off area is open here. So you can at least drop your family and friends off and go back up over that bridge and park. That's good news. But you can see the front gates are all locked up over at the park. Catch a drink here out of the bubbler, as some folks say. <laughs> Sorry about that, you get to listen to me slurping down some water. Hey, it's alive. That's what happens when you're live. You can run, but you can't hide. These garbage cans right here. I don't know how high they are. 36, 40 inches, 42 inches maybe. Down at Vanderbilt Beach, the ones that were out on the beach, the sand is piled up over top of them. You can't, there's no signs of the garbage cans that were out on the beach. The benches or the garbage cans are buried. Down there at Vanderbilt Beach Park, down by the Ritz. Hoping I can be around when they unearth those things. Just curious how much sand is actually on top of them. 
or if they're just under the surface. Well, this is weird. See that the ramp, the railings aren't going down. The sand has piled up here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just going to leave it like that. I don't see any reason why they should change it here. Why they should do anything about it. What's it hurting? Look behind me back up to the north at our beautiful Florida State Park. Just a few more minutes here. I'm going to call it a morning. Let's have a tip a thon over the next couple days. I could really use it. <laughs> a PayPal a thon. Surprise me. Surprise the old man on the beach. <laughs> I wish you were here with me. Those of you that have sent a tip, God bless you. Thank you so much. My PayPal account is acting really screwy. It won't let me email anybody right now. It's not giving me notifications. But I do thank you very, very, very much. Same with the star senders. Thank you. And those of you that have made that commitment to subscribe to my Southwest Florida television page. Thank you for doing that. That is awesome. I wish more people would follow suit and do that. It would be awesome. Just knowing the bills are paid. That would be so sweet. But I'm happy to be out here. I'm happy. There's a lot of people that have it much, much worse. Oh, never forget that. No matter what your little problems are, there's somebody that's got it much, much worse. Think about those people that got hit by Helene. Man. Hmm. They'd be happy with a bag of ice. Oh. Hey, if you make a donation, Make sure it's to a reputable cause. Any donations for the hurricane victims. Make sure it's a reputable organization, not somebody knocking on your door. Always use a credit card. Always, always, always. This sand is hard to walk in. Jason's got it all smoothed out, but it's pretty fluffy in some places. Hey, don't forget, tomorrow morning again, it's going to be kind of an, an odd beach walk. Instead of talking to you or talking to myself, that's what a lot of people think I'm doing here when they see me, I'll be talking to Rachel Cox Rosen from Wink. TV. She's going to be walking up the beach with me with her camera crew. So it's going to, like I said, a little different. We're going to be talking about Helene, the befores and afters. See what she comes up with. But you'll get the gist of what's going on if you tune in. And then I'll let you know when they finally get this story all put together. The first part, they were out here a couple of weeks ago, and then we had Helene, so they wanted to broaden it to include Helene. So we'll see what happens.
All right, I think that's going to do it for this morning's live feed. So, thanks again for hanging out with me. If you send a tip or some stars, or if you're a subscriber, thank you very, very much. But of course, thank you for just being here with me. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. Thanks for being a friend. Share, share, share. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends. Tally ho. For Southwest, yeah, this, 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 look at this water, sorry. Very, very ugly looking. Very ugly. Anyway. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. And God bless our wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.